What's up, Navigating Academia family? This is your buddy, Dr. J. Phoenix Singh, coming at you to be able to answer a valued viewer's question. This is one that I get all the time, which is how do you find an APA accredited PsyD program? Maybe it's something where you're in those initial stages of trying to explore what programs are out there to try to figure out which one is the best fit for you. Or maybe it's something where you've already come up with a short list of programs and you're trying to find a convenient way to be able to figure out which ones are currently APA accredited and which ones are not. So what I'm going to do here today in this very brief video is to be able to show you how you can find out what programs are accredited and which are not. This is going to help you to be able to try to come up with your short list of programs to be able to apply to. So the first thing I want you to do is to be able to go to Google and then what I want you to do is to be able to type in APA accredited programs. When you search that term, first thing that's going to pop up here is literally APA accredited programs from APA.org. APA stands for American Psychological Association. When we go ahead and we click on that link, what you're going to see here on this landing page, when you scroll down a little bit here, is this little button that says start your search. So APA has this wonderful search tool that we're going to utilize here. And when you click on it, it opens up a new tab here. And I'm using Google Chrome in case you're wondering what I am using. Now, as you can see here, this content was last updated June 7th of 2021. If you're watching this video many years on, this could change a little bit. But I can say that for the most part, it's going to remain relatively the same in terms of its functionality. So today we're going to be focusing in this video on how to be able to find APA credit PsyD programs. So what we're going to want to do here is we're scrolling down is over here where it says degree. We're going to choose PsyD. On the left hand side, maybe you're only interested in exploring uh, programs that are in the United States. Maybe you're only interested in exploring programs that are in Canada, or maybe you're interested in both the US and Canada. That's totally fine. Over here in state or province, literally everything is going to be, so for example, um, you know, you've got down here, here we go, Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and say that I'm only interested in programs in Virginia because that's where I live right now is Virginia. Now, let's say that you're interested in all PsyD programs. So you're not specifically interested in a PsyD program in school psychology or counseling psychology and so forth. If you are only interested in those, then here when it says substantive area, I want you to go ahead and scroll down and choose something like that, counseling psychology, school psychology, so on and so forth, okay? Uh, keyword search, we're gonna, going to go ahead and leave that out for now. Now, go ahead, take your cursor, place it over search. Let's go ahead and click. And here you go. Here are all of these PsyD programs, not specific to school psych, counseling psych, and so forth, that are in the state of Virginia. Now, as you can see here, when I've got my little cursor, uh, you can see that each one of these different calling column headings are sticky insofar as if I want to, let's say, make these things alphabetical order, I can just click on institution name. And as you can see here, it is going to put them in alphabetical order. You can do that for any of these different column headings. So as you can see here, the most important thing is accreditation status. All of these are currently accredited, which is great. One of the things that's really useful these days is that let's say that I want to go to JMU, so James Madison University, which is in Harrisburg, Virginia, Harrisonburg, Virginia, I actually have family members who've been there. It's a wonderful school. So if I take my cursor, I place it over this hyperlink in terms of the Department of Graduate Psychology and I click on it, this little pop-up is going to come out here. And this is crazy useful because it's going to provide a link to the actual landing page of the program. This is the official website for their PsyD program. Now it's also going to have the address if you want to send a letter or you want to go and visit in person. It's going to give a little summary about the current accreditation status. And something that's really important here is the initial accreditation date. So when did it first become accredited? And then when is the next site visit? This is the next time basically the APA accreditation status could potentially change for your school. So if it's a lesser known school, a smaller program, it's not a Pepperdine, a Rutgers, a Baylor, and so forth, and let's just say that that site visit is going to be in the same calendar year that you're applying, this is something that if nothing else, serves as a yellow flag. It's definitely not a red flag. It's definitely not a green flag, okay? So the final thing that I'll mention here is the student admissions outcomes and other data link. This is, again, insanely useful. 
So if you click on that tab here, right, this is going to provide you with a crazy amount of useful information. Here, for example, is how many people applied to the program, were offered admission, and then who actually enrolled. The most important numbers here are how many people applied and how many people were offered admission. Now, just because you're offered admission doesn't mean that you're automatically going to accept, unless, of course, this is your top school, which is great. So here's the useful information. Let's say the last three uh, cycles, right? 2018, 19, 19, 20, 2021. Here's the total number of individuals who applied and the total number who were offered admission, right? So usually you're going to see that these numbers are under 10%. Uh, obviously, for clinical psych PhD p programs, it's going to be much more competitive. And for the very few uh, PsyD programs that currently offer funding, it's going to be much more competitive. But this is going to be critical information. Same thing if you're interested in taking a look at the average you know, graduate GPA, if you're taking a look, oh, sorry, or undergraduate GPA, right? Some of you may have already done a master's or even a PhD in another subject, in which case graduate GPA is going to be something you're going to want to take a look at. And if you did take the GRE, you're going to take a look at the mean uh, verbal and quant scores here. So this information is going to be super duper useful for you. And I do recommend that you take a look at these stats for any of the programs you're interested in. Now, when it comes to applying to programs, you guys know if you watch this channel that my recommendation is that you apply for between three to five programs. Why? Because I want you to maximize your perceived goodness of fit with the program. Now, if it's something where this is uh, your senior year and you're applying literally right now, I'm making this video uh, in late November, most of these programs, the uh, cycle either has already closed or you guys only have maybe a month, maybe two months left to be able to get your applications in. This is something where it may be something where you're a little bit late to the game in term, if you're just picking programs to apply to right now. But if you are a junior, a sophomore, even a freshman, uh, you should start looking at programs as soon as you decide that this is the kind of degree that you want. Uh, there's a lot of bad information out there. This is the reason this channel exists, is to be able to dispel all of these myths that you may have heard out there where you should apply to, oh, a minimum of 10 to 15 programs. You're out of your mind, okay? The reason that I have this channel is to be able to tell you guys the truth. This is why a lot of you guys subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciate it. If this is your first time watching us, please do consider subscribing and joining our community. Three to five programs, people. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, if you come up with a list of 10 to 15 programs and you need help narrowing those things down or maxing out the quality of your application materials, please book a session with me. I'll go ahead and put the information in the description box below. It's www.jphoenixsing.com. That's where you guys can book a session with me. I can help you out being able to maximize the quality of your CV, of your personal statements. If you just need some career direction, career advice, I can give you that. And we can also identify for you the ideal goodness of fit programs if you currently have way too many that you're considering applying to. This past year, I've had people who've applied to 14, 15 programs and have gotten rejected from all 14 to 15 programs because they didn't take the advice of maximize a goodness of fit and instead just wanted to apply to everywhere under the sun and just picked programs of schools where they knew the names of the programs and that was it uh, and they didn't do any further research i can help you with all of that book a session let's talk about it. all right guys thanks so much for watching i will see you guys in the next episode bye bye